are geohashing is the technique that you use to split the world into multiple pieces, into a grid. Uh, this allows you to split the world into data streams uh, through four different quadrants, but you can split even further than that. Uh, you can go to 128 squares. Anything that's within that region uh, becomes a topic zone. So just like within a mile or 10 mile radius, you'd like to be able to subscribe to that data feed in that geographic region, and that's geohashing at core. A picture of a map, like the map of the world, and then you slice the map into a Cartesian grid, and then each of those squares that are formed through the grid are actual, you can think of them data streams or, or like focal points that you can use to uh, subscribe, but you might wanna go further than that. Maybe you wanna go down to like the city blocks because you wanna do hyper-local uh, data streams. Some, some things like uh, uh, taxi dispatch or uh, bars and chatting and like the dating scene might be prevalent to say, oh, this person's just a couple blocks away, but they've got the application open and you wanna be speaking with them. And then through PubNub, you can use our channels and subscribe to that topic zone and only receive the updates that are within that region. So with Internet of Things, what we have to do is in order to get those guys online and begin to transmit streams of those data is it becomes very, very busy. Uh, you gotta segment by location uh, that data stream or that data feed uh, in order to um, provide dashboards of data so you can see that data in real time by geography. 